Hey everyone, I have an exciting new build to share with you today. This is an early prototype of the Beta 85X. It's a new 4S Whoop that Beta FPV has been developing, um, and they just announced that they were working on it. So I posted a picture of this a couple days ago, and the result was pretty incredible. I got so many responses and questions. It sounds like a lot of people are excited about this build. Um, and so today I'm going to try to answer some of those questions, uh, give you a bit more info and some flight footage. Uh, but I have to emphasize that this is just a prototype. This product is still in development. Um, the final product will look different. Uh, it'll come in black. It'll probably have different props. Some of the other components may be different as well. So this is not a review by any means. Uh, this is more of a sneak peek of things to come. Now, I just call it a whoop because it certainly has that shape of the frame. That's what you're going to think of when you look at this. Uh, but this is clearly not in the same category as a lot of the other builds we've been flying. Uh, these are two inch props on 1105 motors um, and it runs with up to a four cell battery. This thing is going to scream. Um, so I'm wondering what you guys think we should call this. Is this a whoop? Is it a two inch micro drone or is it some other category that we should come up with a name for? I don't know, but I've been having a lot of fun with it this week. Now Beta FPV is calling this a Cine Whoop uh, because there will be an HD version of it uh, using the Cadex Turtle V2 camera, I believe. This is the standard definition version though. And a lot of people have been putting cameras like that on 75 millimeter builds like uh, the Mobula 7 or the 75X and that sort of thing. And that's certainly doable, uh, but that's a lot of weight for uh, 40 millimeter props. And so the idea is to build something uh, much stronger and much more powerful to be able to carry that weight and still go uh, into places and fly uh, in ways that maybe you couldn't do before. So let's take a quick look at the components uh, before we get into the flight footage. This is an 85 millimeter frame with two inch props. I haven't actually been testing on 4S yet because the version that's in here is actually just two to three S. This was an early prototype that I received, but I just got today the 4S ESC. It's right here. This is a 16 amp BL Heli 32. For comparison, this is the prop that it came with. It's the Dow Cyclone 2035. Um, this will probably be good on 4S, but for 2S and 3S, uh, this is what I'm testing. So for today's flight footage, it's this one right here. And my 2S flights were with this battery, 450 million power GMB ADC battery. And for 3S, this Airblade battery, it's uh, also 450 million power, but three cell and 70C rating. So let's get into it. in this build are 1105 6000 kV and that's spec'd for 4S. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised to see how well it would work on 2S. 
Yeah, in a large space like this, it feels a little bit underpowered, but I still had good control and I could even do basic power loops and that sort of thing. Um, and that's cool because it's going to make this a pretty versatile build. Um, 2S is going to be more than enough power uh, for flying around indoors and in very small spaces. Continued flying at about this speed and got 4 minutes and 40 seconds with a resting voltage of 3.7 volts per cell. And here I am at that same park uh, flying 3 cell. This was actually my very first flight and so I had the Dow Cyclone props on. The Cyclones are pretty efficient though. This flight lasted for 5 minutes and 20 seconds with a resting voltage of 3.7 volts per cell. Next, there's a few things I want to show you about the build, and then I'll leave you with a full flight in that same park. This canopy is temporary. Um, the real canopy will look different. But one thing that's cool I want to point out is that it screws into holes in the frame. Um, the screws for the flight control stack are on the inside, and so the canopy does not share any hardware with the stack. And that means that an impact to the canopy uh, is going to go into the frame, not into those little pins that hold the flight controller, um, and it's not going to interfere with the flight controller at all. So I think that's a good uh, durability upgrade. This is actually a recommendation I made way back uh, when I was giving feedback on the Beta 75X, and it never uh, came about then, but it's cool to see them doing it here. Fun fact, the Beta 75 Pro 2 also has those holes, although I don't know if you can see them, um, and that's what they're for. The camera that's in here is Beta FPV branded, um, but I'm pretty sure this is a standard EOS 2 uh, Cadex camera. It is on a shock absorbing mount, and it has adjustable pitch. Mine has the Beta 75X uh, video transmitter in there. That is not the final thing. They're working on a new one, uh, which is smaller and lighter, but it'll still be 200 milliwatts switchable has to be smaller and lighter uh, because the HD DVR has to fit in here as well. If I flip it over, you can see the battery tray. There isn't one. Um, this is a strong platform in here, and this black stuff is a very grippy rubber. And it's open like this so that it can hold a variety of different batteries. If you want to know the weights, here's the 4S ESC, single motor, Cyclone props, Avon props, the most current prototype frame, and the full prototype build that I received. But again, these are not going to be the final weights, uh, but you can get an idea. I want to give a big thanks to Beta FPV for sending me this build for testing, and now I'm going to leave you with one complete flight flying that 3S battery out in the big park. Thanks for watching. More to come, so stay tuned. Happy flying.